Hello and welcome to another exclusive review by me, Alex Belfield, here at CelebrityRadio.biz. We just hit 60 million minutes viewed on YouTube. We're now the number one reviewer of theatre in the UK and Las Vegas. And this week we're in Bradford for Snow White and the Seven Dwarves, or should we say Snow White and the Seven Six Foot Men on Their Knees. We'll get to that in a bit. This pantomime at the Bradford Alhambra, one of the most glorious and huge theatres in the UK, has one of the most bedazzling productions. It stars the mega talent of Billy Pierce. We've always loved Billy. We last gave him a five-star review with Cinderella a couple of years ago with Colleen Nolan. It is the Billy Pierce show. That's why he's booked back for his 21st consecutive year. People love Billy, and we get a lot of Billy in the show. This year, though, it's slightly different, because not only do we get Billy, but we get half of the Chuckle Brothers, Paul Chuckle. And this leaves opportunity to get some of those old Chuckle Brother bits out and have Billy do Barry's part. There's no doubting that the Chuckle Brothers, Billy and Paul, have incredible laughs within their material. Both Billy and Paul are instantly lovable and instantly funny. They're from an old school of variety where they've crafted their act and there's no doubting that they are stunning variety entertainers. Adding to the mix, the vocals of Faye Toza, who we have loved for years. She is one of the best vocalists around and brings a bit of steps into Snow White. Whether she pulls off a wicked, wicked queen, I suppose doesn't really matter. She's almost too nice for the part. What we do get, though, is some fun dance numbers playing with the history of the Chuckle Brothers and her part in Steps. Where I have a major problem with this production is the fact that it's called Seven Dwarfs. It's not just called Snow White, and they choose to use cheap actors who do it on their knees pretending to be dwarfs. I find this offensive in 2019 and can't understand why the UK's number one production company, Kudos, in one of the biggest theatres in England, 3,000 seats, can't afford to use proper dwarves, which are only 300 quid a week more expensive expensive than these actors. It doesn't sit well with me to see what is a disability made fun of on stage, and there are jokes about these small diminutive people, who of course are not diminutive at all. They're full-size people, black cloths to make it look like they are. That doesn't sit well with me, and for that reason, I can't be behind this production. There is no doubting you're going to laugh at this show. There is no doubting that it is done incredibly well. But once again, like in Darlington, Northampton and Glasgow, Kudos are just proving that their 50 million profit last year is more important than the integrity of the show in 2019, and that has let this production down. We should make it absolutely clear that Billy, Paul and Faye are all five-star talent and that this three-star review is not a reflection on them. It is a reflection on the choices of the director and producers. You have been listening to another three-star review by me, Alex Belfield, here at CelebrityRadio.biz, where last year we had over 12 million minutes viewed on YouTube. You can check out all of our hundreds of interviews and reviews at www.celebrityradio.biz. Ta-da.